Hello there, welcome in. If you follow me on Instagram, you might remember that a few months ago, I took a little trip to California. The reason I went to California is I had found a specialized dentist in order to have my amalgam fillings removed from my mouth that had been in there for about 55 years. I finally took the leap and had that mercury removed from my body. And it was very, very important to me that I had a very good dentist that really knew how to do that. And you know what? He did, and it was, and it was great. This video is gonna be a little bit different than my usual videos, and I'm kind of bringing you guys in on some behind the scenes information gathering that I did for myself, but I started thinking about it, and I thought, you know what? There might be other ladies out there that are having issues like mine, heavy metals in the body, and want more information on it. When I got my amalgam fillings removed, and I had it replaced with good stuff that's non-toxic, I was thrilled. One thing I knew is that because that mercury had been in my body for decades, and we're talking over five decades, probably close to 55 years or more in my body, that I most likely had heavy metal buildup in my system that could be creating a lot of issues in my body. When I got home from California and I had my new teeth in there, I decided to do some research on how to get heavy metals out of your body. It was kind of a frustrating experience because there are different ways to get heavy metals out of your body. A lot of them are extremely expensive, very, very complicated. You have to take time out of your life. In other words, it was a very, very disruptive process. I started checking in with a few people I know that kind of know about health, and it was suggested to me that I check out Touchstone Essentials, that they had a zeolite-based product that could really help remove heavy metals from your body. I did some research. I watched a few videos from Eddie, the owner, and you know what? I thought I'm going to give that a try because it was a more reasonable way for me to address the heavy metals in my body. What zeolite does, it attaches to the heavy metals in your body and pulls it out and then it just gets eliminated through bodily waste. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to give this a whirl. This is the product. It's called Pure Body Extra. Now, if you're not worried about heavy metals in your body, Body. If you don't think it's an issue, this is not for you. But I did think there might be a few people that are thinking about it and looking for an easy, affordable way to really address that heavy metal accumulation that we can get in our bodies. What I did is I contacted Touchstone Essentials and I asked if Eddie could hop on a Zoom call with me and answer some questions I had about what it is, how it works, exactly what the whole process is and that sort of thing. And that's what I'm gonna be sharing with you today. I did ask Eddie if I could record the video and share it with my viewers. He said, yes, absolutely. And he has put together a special offer for us that is really, really good. I was kind of surprised when I found out about it. So if you're interested at all in finding out about heavy metal detox for yourself or someone you love, let's go ahead and jump into the conversation I had with Eddie. It was very informative. He was easy to understand, but he also shared a whole lot of great information that really educated me and hopefully you'll find it interesting as well. Let's go ahead and jump into the nitty-gritty details on heavy metal detox. Welcome Eddie. I'm so glad for you to stop by today and give us a few minutes of your time. Thank you so much. Oh absolutely and thank you for the invitation to be with you and your audience. It's an honor. Great. Well wonderful. Before we get started and I have a list of questions because there's things that I want to know and I want to share. Can you tell us just a little bit about you and your background? Sure. Um, so I live in North Carolina. I'm 58 years old, married to Maria and have two uh, great kids. Um, and that's what I hope defines me more than anything else is being her husband and, and their father. Um, but I've been fortunate enough to be involved with supplement industry, wellness industry now for over 30 years. And so I can say that I get to do that thing in life that I'm most passionate about, um, which is which is something that's fun to be able to uh, work with on a daily basis, is this constant learning uh, exercise. And I, you know, I know enough about your site and your audience and your messaging that you guys are about learning and you know growing better and and these things. For me, the journey here, it started out I think like a lot of people. I I was in my late 20s and all of a sudden when you don't have as much time as you did when you were younger to maybe focus on exercise or diet or whatever it happens to be, I just found myself in the throes of life and work and demand sort of ignoring my own health. And I had an insurance examination where 
when the numbers came back, my category for life insurance was in an at-risk category. And I'm thinking to myself, how in the world does this happen? I'm, I'm not really, I don't smoke. I'm not obese. I'm not all these things, but I had elevated cholesterol and triglycerides and my blood sugars were too high. And it was all just a part of really lifestyle issues where I wasn't paying attention and, and really providing enough time for myself to be remotely involved with self-care, not, not the words we used back then. Right. But now, you know, we sort of know how to think about this thing. And then the other thing that really solidified my interest in, you know, what you can do for your body uh, in terms of your lifestyle, lifestyle choices, supplements, things of this kind was my mom, Judy alive and, you know, well, well today, she had a health scare that really it was one of these things that's kind of a mystery illness. Uh, for several years, her health was on decline. She was losing weight and no energy and catching everything that kind of came by. And we, you know, we took her to local physicians and universities. We have great university medical centers here in North Carolina, you know, where I live and, and no one really had any answers. Right. And, you know, we're kind of looking at her and it's almost like she's sort of wasting away. And we finally got a lead on someone that, um, really focused on what could be uh, considered toxicity issues for someone that's kind of unidentified. And in her case, um, once she was suggested to do some detox, pretty aggressive detox in hindsight, I'm not sure it was the right answer. Uh, she got better, which allowed us to realize that she had had some breast implants when she was younger, that she was having an autoimmune response to, and one was actually leaking. And this was basically leading to a situation where she was sort of poisoning herself by, by proxy, right through through these uh, through these implants. And so she had to take it out. And of course, it, she's not the only woman from that period of time in the uh, late 1980s that really encountered uh, those problems. And so it really solidified for me this interest in learning about the body, what we can do. Uh, to really meet the full measure of our potential from a health standpoint. Uh, you know, you, it's cliche to say, but right, we only have one body, right? There's only one chance to really try to do right by it. But the great thing about the human body is you can have bad habits for a long time and make a course correction and see incredible response for health. And so that's how I got here. And it's been 30 plus years in the supplement industry. And I, I love it. Oh, thank you for that. That's very, very applicable to myself, my life, and I'm sure a lot of the viewers as well. Sure. Can you help us understand and help me understand? Because as I shared, I know about this much about heavy metal detox. And I became interested in the topic because I recently, within the last 12 months, had my amalgam fillings removed, which had been in my body for, oh my gosh, over 55 years. Once I had them removed, I thought, wait a minute, <laughs> what's left in my body? And started looking at detox and came upon some information about you and your company. Can you tell us why we need to be concerned about heavy metals in our bodies? Yes, I can. And, and I'm happy to hear that you got your amalgams out. And it doesn't sound like you had any acute issues afterwards. Sometimes when people have them taking out, there's so much off-gassing of mercury during the process. They can become really quite sick, uh, have autoimmune problems, central nervous system problems. So I'm happy to hear that experience for you wasn't, wasn't that way. So something I, I say to folks, one of the dirty little secrets about the modern world is how toxic it is. And I, you know, I mean, that's a conversation, right? That could be about toxic conversations and toxic politics and things like that. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm literally talking about the environment we live in and the toxicities that we're exposed to on a daily basis. Now, the good news is the human body is really brilliant in the systems we have to manage toxins, uh, the lymphatic system, the kidney, the liver, and all these kinds of things. But it's pretty clear when you look at the data and the increased risk of degenerative diseases like cardiovascular disease, cancer, even the impact on the risk of, of diabetes that sort of the, the load or the burden of toxins we're exposed to today is, is much greater than at any point in history. And we're beginning to pay a price in, in terms of health. If you consider some of the numbers, 
Most estimates are there's a hundred plus thousand man-made chemicals, largely coming from petroleum byproducts that are used in consumer goods that we are around and involved with every day, whether we're talking about food uh, packaging, food dyes and colors, or we're talking about cleaning products. When you know people go into a bathroom, generally a small area, they're using all these noxious uh, chemicals to clean their bathroom, particularly the last several years, right? Everybody's conscious of, of, of germs and, and these kinds of things. And yet they don't really consider that all they're inhaling in the processes that now have to be engaged by the body through the lungs to sort of manage that toxic load and what happens to it, right? Because it's not just a case where you breathe it in and then breathe it out. There's lingering impact. It gets into the cells and can even damage very delicate uh, lung tissues or uh, smog and pollution, right? So that's the visible part of it that people sort of think about, but it's much greater, really, probably the greater dangers for us are those things that we don't really smell easily and aren't really visible. You know, if we're in a polluted city, right, we can sort of take some caution or your weatherman might say, hey, the air outside is not great today because of ozone. And so we can get a little preview and we can do a little prevention of staying inside or whatever happens to be. But most of the damage is coming from things like, from a heavy metal standpoint, cadmium, lead, mercury, arsenic, these items that are a, a part of consumer products and goods, or PFOSs. Uh, you find PFOS is generally referred to as forever chemicals. So if you buy stain resistant carpet for your home, which is a, a lovely idea, no one wants to have stains on their carpet or their fabric or their couch or interior of their car and things like this, but those chemicals get into our body and can wreak havoc in how they damage the body or volatile organic. So there's just this sort of long list. And so, you know, what they can do is affect quite literally all the way down to the mitochondria, where the mitochondria is trying to use either uh, fat or carbohydrates to produce energy, right? Those processes can be disrupted by these chemicals because they're not something that's native to the body or the body really knows easily how to manage. Now, most people listening to this, they they know about lead in terms of like Flint, Michigan, right? That's a very obvious one. And they know about children eating uh, lead paint and those kinds of things, but they don't really know beyond even the IQ regression that can take place. They don't really realize how ubiquitous the problem is, right? Flint, Michigan seems like, oh, it's an old industrial city in the North um, Midwest, I should say. And we're not, you know, I don't have that here in my rural home in Texas or Oklahoma, but the truth is there's more rural, smaller co-op type or small city type water systems with elevated level, levels of blood, uh, excuse me, elevated levels of lead than we even find in some of the larger urban areas. And so it's just pervasive and how it impacts the body is just increased risk of disease or generally an erosion of vitality, acceleration of aging. And so I've, I've come to believe that it's as important to pay attention to toxic exposures and try to mitigate with lifestyle and other things as it is to think about micronutrients that you're trying to get in your body and managing those types of issues. So I, I now in my own research and, and, and what I've learned in my career is that I need to think of these things both ways because if I'm just putting the good stuff in but I don't take the bad stuff out, I don't get that full impact. Mm -hmm. That is so wonderful. And you're brilliant at reading my mind because you answered my next three questions right okay. there. Thank you so much for being so detailed in that. And I, one of the things that amazes me, the more I deep dive into this, is how incredibly resilient the human body is. That we can live day to day in a world that is so filled with toxins. And I certainly don't think we planned it this way. It's just the little creep you know, oh, this one little chemical, oh, this one little ingredient, before we know it, our entire environment is just this mass of chemicals that we're being exposed to. When I had my fillings taken out and I started doing some research on getting the heavy metals out of my body, I became aware that there's a lot more in my body besides the mercury from the fillings. Right. The research that I did, and maybe I wasn't doing a good job at that, I did not find anything that was 
I felt was understandable and doable for just the normal person. You know, I have a job, I have stuff going on. I didn't feel like I could quit everything to go do some six week program of detox somewhere. And I wanted it to be something that I felt was affordable and easy and that sort of thing. Can you talk to me a little bit about the ingredient in your product? And I have it right here. <laughs> this, everyone, this is what I've been taking and it's so easy. Um, and could you talk to us a little bit about what's in here, how it works, why it's gonna help with that complicated process of getting all of that out of our system? Yeah, I, I sure can. And and that's pure body extra that you're holding up. And the primary constituent, really, there's only two things in it, which is zeolite. And I'm going to come back to that with some explanation and highly purified uh, clean water. And it's an it's an important tool, but I don't before I go there, I don't I don't want to underestimate to say to folks, you can do some things to mitigate exposure, just like you've done. And I really applaud you for being proactive to get your uh, fillings taken out to sort of manage it that way. You can also think about just trying to do the best you can with the quality of air in your home. Now, I don't, I don't sell air filters or water filters, but I do believe that they provide a value to just think about quality of air, quality of water. And truthfully, if you can have a chance to live or at least visit or go places where there's not so much what I call urban uh, trash in the air, although there can be plenty in rural places around farms or can be trash in the air, so to speak. Um, so you, there's a lot a person can do to help manage that in the day-to-day -day life. But the zeolite, we we believe, is the most important tool. And I don't say this lightly. I mean, I, I've been in supplements my entire adult life, and there's a lot of great things I really believe in. But I, I don't know of anything that has a capacity to be used on a day-in and day-out basis that's safer or more effective than you have with zeolites. And so Paired Body Extra, which is our most popular product in the 60 plus countries that we ship products to, because this isn't just a, a challenge for us in a developed country. It's 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 a um it's a challenge really all over all over the world. Zeolites in this case, we use a naturally mined zeolite. Uh, we mine it in a very pristine environment here in the United States. It's called clinoptilolite. It's a sheet-like zeolite. There are a variety of natural zeolites. And then, of course, as you would imagine, there's all kinds of man-made synthetic zeolites that are not uh, proven uh, for human uh, consumption. Generally, zeolites have been used to manage waste, water cleanup, things of this kind on very large scales historically. Um, at uh, Chernobyl, you know, decades ago, Zeolite was mixed with concrete to help manage um, migration of radiation out of the source and the challenging areas, also at Fukushima. And so it's a very proven ingredient. It, it's interesting that it has a, it's a natural mineral. In our case, we're using one, uh, the cleptilolite that comes from volcanic lava or uh, even ash from uh, lava flow colliding with plyo lakes and salt waters and these natural minerals grow. And when they grow, they have a cage-like structure. And here's the really intriguing part that develops in this cage, a negative charge. And on the surface, that may not sound like a big deal, but when we talk about things like cadmium, lead, mercury, arsenic, things in this heavy metal category, and then some volatile organics and some PFOSs, they will have positive charges. And so when the zeolite, and it works based upon proximity, when the zeolite comes in contact or vicinity to one of these positively charged toxins, it'll bind. And, and, and what's brilliant about it, I, I, I call it this, you know, master detoxifier is you don't have any natural receptor sites for zeolites in your body because it is not an essential mineral. And so it'll process out of your body in about a four to six hour period of time, very gently. Right, it has no contraindications. Uh, clinoptilolite, the naturally mined one, not synthetics, enjoy grass status from the FDA, which means they are generally recognized as safe and, and similar recognitions in Europe and throughout Asia. So we know a lot about it from a safety standpoint. To have something like this that with no contraindications really is a green light you know, for you and I to recognize this as a tool to day in and day out help to detoxify our bodies because it's not a one-off exercise. I know people talk about cleanses 
or they they go on a fast. And I think all of those things have value and can be important. But since we don't live in a bubble, exposure is literally occurring every day, every time we breathe. Quite literally, you know, those gallons of air that we're taking in and every time your heart pumps, right, these things are processing through your body. And so we see this as an important tool to give you to be able to use day in and day out, just as you might have greens drinks or other types of supplements to support your health. It's a tool to do that. And we love that it's so simple. So in our case, uh, we prepare the cage, right, to improve its function in the body. We mill it to the proper size. And so literally that Pure Body Extra is in a nano range size. And so it will travel anywhere water goes in your body. And so it's a cellular detox, not just a gut or a bowel detox. We actually trap the zeolite in a water cluster. So when people receive it and they're going to look at it and they go, oh, it, it's clear. It, it, it kind of looks like water. That's one of the best parts of it, particularly when you talk about people that are sensitive to taste or smell. We have a lot of parents that in trying to work on their kids that are on the spectrum, which often have terrible, terrible gut issues. And then those kids, they don't want to eat uh, good things. They really have, they struggle with texture of food, flavor, and smell to be able to provide a tool that's odorless and tasteless to assist them in, in trying to improve the gut health and other function of those children. It's just a, a, a great tool in that regard. So we're we're excited uh, about what we see happen for people. It's not uncommon to have people contact us in a couple of weeks and say, you know, I've got more energy. I don't know if it's in my head or if it's really happening. I, I believe it's really happening based upon the volume of calls we get, because once you stop disrupting how that ATP production takes place, once you stop disrupting hormonal functions in the body, now you even can see people where their metabolism with no change in behavior actually improves because it's being weighed down by the burden of just general toxicity. The combination of using supplements and self-awareness really can be just remarkable. And so we, we see a, a, a lot of wonderful things happen with people. And what we associate it with is that it's not curing, treating, or mitigating anything. It's really unburdening the body so your natural immune system can function to the best of its ability, right? Kind of getting out of the way of the genius of nature. Yeah, thank you. So just to slow down a little bit, because this is all new to me, what you're saying is that the zeolite actually enters your body and attracts the heavy metals through the charge, the activity of the charge, negative and positive. And then do you just eliminate it through bodily waste or how does that, what is the actual mechanism that happens? Absolutely. So the way we suggest people use it is it's three sprays three times a day because it works on proximity. So it doesn't dissolve in your body. It's literally a hardened mineral. I know you can't see it or taste it because it's nano size, but you know, we photograph it and study it, you know, so it's a hard mineral that's there. So when you spray it in your mouth, it's mostly going to absorb mucosally. It's quick into the bloodstream. And once it's there, right, its ability to travel throughout the cell system in the body is really unlimited, right? Anywhere that water goes, it goes. And as it's circulating and comes in contact with or proximity to heavy metals, arsenic, cadmium, lead, mercury, in your case, you know, that may have been there from the amalgam feelings, it's going to bind. And then because there's no receptor site, it's going to go out with bodily waste. In most cases, probably a four to six hour period of time, sort of looking at generally what happens inside the body. And so from an efficiency standpoint and a gentle standpoint, that's really what we're looking for is something that's simple in terms of that type of, of, of application. And literally, there are tens of thousands of particles uh, that you introduce into your body when you use it. Um, you know, for most people, it's a little counterintuitive that it's smaller and that makes it more effective, right? We tend to think of things being larger as having a broader impact, but I'll give this quick example. If you think of something like a soccer ball or a basketball, some kind of larger round sphere, you know, if you were to paint up a soccer ball or basketball, it's a pretty good surface area, right? I could cover um, the, the a desktop type of situation. But if I were to cut open the top of a soccer ball or a basketball and pour inside, say, marbles or even BBs, an even smaller sphere, 
those spheres in that same contained space would have an exponentially larger collective surface area. So in this case, smaller, and this is by our own prep processes and size, actually gives you more surface area as you use it uh, to bind with toxins and take them out of the body. So it's really, a, it's just fascinating, the, the biochemistry to me and how it works. It's almost, it almost works like you think of antioxidants, where an antioxidant that you've gotten from a fruit or a vegetable gives up an electron to a free radical and neutralizes it. In this case, as things are exchanging at an ion level in the cage or to the external surface of the cage, same type of dynamic, it essentially acts to neutralize and carry that uh, waste uh, toxin out of the body. Right, thank you for that. It's very, that was very clear and understandable. I appreciate that. One thing that I noticed when I first started taking it and I, I actually put it under my tongue. I don't know why I do that, but I just do. That's a good um, idea. Yeah, I, I just thought it would absorb quicker. One thing that I was concerned about when I first started this is I thought, I wonder if this is going to upset my digestion, if I'm going to have, you know, some, you know, little issues along with it. And I haven't noticed anything um, other than I do. I can say that my energy level is better. I, I don't know if I can say it's all this. It certainly has to be part of the amalgam not being in my body, my body not having to fight that off. I have been doing a very um, comprehensive detox program. I've been using this during that time as well. Are there any side effects or any contraindications for let's say someone's watching and they're on a certain medication or if they have diabetes or if they're in cancer treatment, anything that people need to be concerned about if they're gonna add this molecule zeolite into their body? Well, the first thing I tell anyone that's under uh, doctor's care for something like cancer, right? Some something serious in that regard. Always speak with your your physician about what you're doing, introducing any new thing into your life. You just you just want to take that cautionary track. From an official standpoint, there's no contraindications related to drugs uh, from the grass status that's yielded to clinoptilolite uh, by the FDA. And in my career, and I've been directly involved with working with zeolites since 2005, um, I don't know of any drugs or anything in that regard, not just domestically, but I don't, and we're, we sell actively in Asia as well as Europe. So we do our best to stay in touch with all the latest research and those things. And there's just not anything uh, to be considered there. The side effects in our case, we really don't hear of anything. We encourage people to make sure they're drinking an adequate amount of water. Anytime you're doing anything that fits into sort of a detox area, uh, you might dehydrate some because you're urinating more frequently, but that is not to be expected here. It's just a possibility. Most of the time when people think about um, acute side effects coming from a detox program, it's generally a cleanse program. Could be like a coffee enema or you're taking a certain type of juice or a certain type of herbal concoction. And in those cases, it's trying to dislodge or move something inside the body, particularly digestive system and your bowel. And of course, we do know uh, things can happen. People can go on cleanses where they can't leave the house for a couple of days, right? It's a little indelicate, but that's just the reality, right? Of life over 50. Um, but in this case, we, we just don't see that because of just the process and the simplicity of how it works. And it's not really trying to operate as a cleanse in that capacity. This is really a true detox. Yeah, I, that's that's been my experience. It's just been very gentle. You know, yeah. I just really haven't noticed any disruption, but I'll tell you my detox I have. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> I, I've, been, I've been there. I've I've worked with fiber and lots of things in my career. And yes, I, I know what you're speaking of. Yeah, yeah. So how does someone get started with zeolite and with the pure body extra i know that you were going i think you have might have a little special for the viewers um for this so can you tell us a little bit more about that yeah i can and you know the way i think about it is anytime you're invited into somebody's uh new audience it's like going to a new home you should bring a you should bring a gift with you and so uh that's what we've done we prepared an offer that basically i think it runs for seven or eight eight days, and I know you'll provide those details to your audience where this bottle, which um, the Pure Body Extra sells for $79.95 at retail, 
you know, all day long uh, around the world. Uh, we're going to make it available for $5, literally $5. In most countries, there will not be an additional shipping and handling charge in the US, UK, much of Europe, Australia, Canada, New Zealand. In most places, it's just a flat uh, $5 because we recognize that for most folks, this is just an entirely new subject matter. And perhaps no, no matter how often I say it's odorless and tasteless, people really wonder and they're worried about the taste and the odor. And, and so they're hesitant to give it a try. So we've tried to break down every barrier possible. Even the $5 comes with an unconditional money back guarantee. And so that people know we have a AAA rating with the Better Business Bureau. We have, I think it's 18,000 five-star reviews on the website so they can kind of see who we are and what we're all about. And when you put the link up, when people go there, we try to make it as simple as possible. There's a window that's going to show the bottle for $79.95 because we know no matter what we do, there's a healthy skepticism people have. And so if they just want to buy it and, and that's just the way they want to do it, no problem. Um, the $5 offer, when they click it to take that bottle, um, it it puts them then on a subscription where they get the next best price, which is $63.83. That being, and it starts in 30 days. That being said, if they get the bottle and decide one hour or two days or five days later, whatever happens to be, they don't want the subscription, that's no problem. They can cancel with no questions asked, and there's really no hoops to jump through. You can either chat with our staff on the website to cancel it, you can call in to cancel it, or you can email to cancel it. So we made it a point to make it as simple as possible. We do that because we know that most people, when they use it, the uh, experience is going to be such that they will remain a customer. They are going to like the impact of this product on themselves and their family. And we're confident about that. And so we're willing to sort of put our money, uh, you know, where our confidence is, so to speak, because we just believe and that's, that's been our case. And so we're happy to bring that to you and your audience as a, a way to get to know you. Oh my gosh, $5. <laughs> that's amazing. Thank you so much for that. I really Absolutely. appreciate that. One thing, not one thing, actually a number of things, and I'm saying this to the viewers, is if you're concerned about heavy metal detox, I did do research when I got my fillings out, and there's a lot of processes that were complicated and expensive and a little disruptive to yeah. my life. Being able to find zeolite, and particularly zeolite in this formulation, was really a gift. It was something I thought, you know what, I can do that. And I am concerned about all the buildup of mercury in my body and then all the other toxins, because once you start researching, you realize, wow, we live in a chemical environment and maybe it's not the best thing for our health. So what I can say is my experience has just been all good. It's easy to take. You're right. It doesn't have any taste. It doesn't, you know, it's just like easy peasy. And I haven't noticed any digestive disruptions or anything that's made it uncomfortable. So if you're thinking about having metal detox, I can tell you from my research, this has been the easiest thing I have found and I'm really loving it. And $5, I think that's a deal. So thank you, Eddie, for that. We certainly appreciate it. Oh, you're, you're welcome. Delighted to have a chance to work with you. And along the way here, we'll meet some of your audience and they'll, they'll find our support team quite eager to help them. And uh, we'll, we look forward to this. All right. Well, I want to thank you so much. I know you're an extremely busy man running a company and for you to take time out to just answer these questions with me, I really appreciate it. And I really am grateful that you're allowing me to share this with my viewers. So thank you for that, Eddie. Oh, you are welcome. My pleasure. Okay. And hopefully we can touch base in six or eight months down the road and you can do a little question and answer or we can move forward and talk about another subject that's important to all of us. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, Perhaps uh, when we do that, we can hear from some of your audience or at least hear some of their stories because there's going to be, there'll be some good stories from this. Great. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for your time today. I do appreciate it. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.